All right, what's good, what's good, people? This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael. Back at it with another video and with actually not really a controversial take. And that is Tyson Bajan is going to get traded before the season starts. And I'm going to explain to you why. It's the simple fact that Bajan, and I've seen how he plays because when we had Justin Fields, okay, this is when the Justin Fields was our you know, Bears quarterback. And the Tyson Bajan fanboys wanted Bajan to start because they didn't think field, they a lot of them didn't think Fields was the answer. So they're, they're like, why not start Tyson Bajan? And a lot of people think that Bajan can be a starting quarterback. What has he shown you? For Like, I th feel like when it comes all down to it, Caleb Williams is going to be the starter. And I think it's fair for Tyson Bajan to go somewhere else. I do think his value can be higher than what people expect. Now, I'm not talking about a first nor second or third, maybe. I'm talking about we can get a fourth round pick out of Bajan. So the question is, where would I think Tyson Bajan is going to get traded to? I feel like he's going to go to the Raiders. That's actually my hot take because of the simple fact that Luke Getze is there. And maybe he has some familiarity to work with Luke Getze. But he's not going to – he has like – it's going to be a long way to go for Bajan to um, – because you have Gardner Minshew, you have Aiden O'Connell, so you would be like the third wheel. Another place where he can probably go to is probably the Seahawks. Or he'll maybe be become a journeyman quarterback. I think ba – because the thing with Bajan is – and I always say this, he lacks arm strength. The lack of arm strength that Bajan has is not, is just like, he doesn't have the arm strength. He gets the ball out much quicker. I will admit that he gets the ball out much quicker, but he's not a starting caliber quarterback. And if Caleb Williams were to go down, do you really trust Bajan to take to, to take over. No. He's a D2 quarterback that was lucky to even make it in the NFL. Okay, he was undrafted for a reason. Many there's a reason why he was never in conversations. And I don't understand like he is, and people want pe people want to talk about Justin Fields this, Justin Fields that. Okay, Bajan is significantly was significantly worse than Justin Fields last year. Look at the stats. I'm not kidding. Okay, he beat the Brian Hoyer Raiders and the Carolina Panthers. I mean, I mean, two two teams like. Who had um what Josh McDaniels, Brian Hoyer Raiders, and and the Carolina Panthers, which were the worst team in the league. I mean, what are we talking about? Bajan is not a starting caliber quarterback. He's he's not better than Caleb. He's not better than Brett Rippin. And you can also make the case that Austin Austin uh, Reed, the the undrafted rookie, is better than him. Because Bajan hasn't shown me anything. Okay, he had one, and people will bring up, oh, he looked good against the Bengals. He he looked, yeah, he looked good against third and fourth stringers. You do realize that, right? And at the the Chiefs, he was mid. 
Okay. And that was against a bunch of Wendy's workers. Like I said, there's no future on the, for the, for Tyson Bajan on the Chicago bears. He's not like, if we look at the 32 quarterbacks in the NFL, Tyson Bajan is not even considered to be a top 32 quarterbacks in the league. Like, even like even the rookies are considered better than him. So I do feel like we're gonna end up trading him before the season starts when we have to make the roster. I think it's like 52 or like uh yeah, I think it's like 30, 52, yeah, 50 or 51, 51 man roster. And I think they, and I think uh, it's going to be Caleb Williams, and I think it's going to be Brett Rippon to um to to be the quarterback one and quarterback two. I think Austin Creed will be a practice squad quarterback, but there is no future for Tyson Bajan. So just send him to the Raiders. So it was I. Like I said, I don't hate Bajan. I just don't like his fanboys. And I'm talking majority of them because majority of them think that they just don't think but their brains. But um, anyways, like I said, you know, we'll get something out of Bajan. Not like a first round or second round, maybe third round. But where we'll get something. We'll get something worth. Just trade bait. Like, but let me know in the comment section down below. If you think that Bajan is going to get traded and if he is going to get traded, what team will select him? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching and bear down.